This is a quick demonstration of the NSI AutoStore platform on a Rico Java enabled device. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and bring up the front panel and you can see very easily and very quickly that uh, the, the, the options are very clear, very easy for someone, even someone not familiar with the device would be able to find what they're trying to do. So I go ahead and choose what uh, process I want to go ahead and do. In this case, let's try scan to home. So once I click on here, I can have multiple, uh, multiple levels of menus. So my next option is basically what do I want to scan? Do I want to scan a PDF, a Word, an Excel file? Essentially what's going to happen here is I'm going to scan a document and it's going to convert the output to one of these formats. So let's say I want to create a Word document. So what I would do here now is I have the option to either use the default file name, enter something, and then I can also say whether I want to send it to my home directory or do I want to send it to my own email and it automatically picks up my email from my initial logon and doing an, an LDAP lookup. So in this case I'm just going to let it use my use my home directory, hit the big green button and the document will go ahead and scan and we'll simulate scanning here. And the document was scanned and it's on its way and I go back to my desk and I would see my document sitting under my home directory. Scan to email, very similar. I just have to fill out the fields just like I would send an email. The difference here is that instead of the email being sent from this device with the return address of, of RicoMFP123 at autostore.com, it would actually come from the individual. And we would actually automatically populate the user's Outlook out box or sent items so that it would look like it actually actually sent it from their desk. Kind of a neat little feature that comes in really handy uh, when you're trying to find sent items. We can also fax through here. So this is using again auto store to to send an outbound fax. So in this case I would just put in the fax number whether say whether I want to get a copy to myself and what we're doing here is simulating basically hooking up to a fax server in the back end but we're enabling any device connected to our system to send a fax. Again, a very, very cost-effective method of getting faxes. So advanced scans are a little bit more different. This is where we would put any type of business process. So in this case, send to SharePoint or scan to SharePoint, fairly straightforward. I click on my, my button here, and here again are my fields. I have libraries that are automatically filled from doing a lookup into the back end. I can choose which library it is, hit OK, and again press my scan button and it would be on its way. Get a simulated scan here directly into SharePoint. So you can see that it's very easy and all of these menus, all these options you're seeing are defined by the administrator so it's very easy for us to change those and the key here is to make this very user friendly such that anybody can walk up to the device and if I ask them to go ahead and scan HR forms, here's your HR form, they're going to be able to find the button that corresponds to that. Once they went into, say, the scan HR forms, they'd be able to enter this data because it's very clear what they need to do. The last name, the last four of a social security number, and then the document type being automatically detected. Again, virtually no training and that's, we feel that that's really the, the emphasis around these systems needs to be on ease of use. So let me go back out here, and that is essentially a quick summary of how NSI's AutoStore product looks on the panel of a Ricoh device.